Ah, ah. Do you ever feel like your PowerPoint is shackling you, like it's putting you in a straitjacket? Well, I'm here to tell you it's time to just take it off and throw it away. One of the top questions I get from people is, DJ, I've got this long, boring data dump PowerPoint. How do I make it better? And I could spend 30 hours with you making little tweaks here or there, but you probably don't have 30 hours. Here's my recommendation. Easiest way to solve this problem is to simply make a decision that you're going to email the PowerPoint to people in advance, hand it out, but you aren't going to display it. You aren't going to put it up on a big screen, a TV screen, or, or a projection screen. Instead, here's what I recommend you do. Read your own PowerPoint two, three times, then get a clean sheet of paper out, and just write down what you think are the top five ideas you really want people to learn from this presentation. Then figure out what's going to make those ideas memorable. What stories do you have? What case studies do you have? What examples? And type that up on a single sheet of paper and use that as your note. Don't use the 89 page deck with 123 PowerPoints bullets on every single slide when you're standing up in front of people. That's basically an impossible thing to do. If you try to do that, you're virtually guaranteed failure. Now, some of you are saying, well, I'll teach you, I can't do that. What if I forget what I'm going to say? Again, you're going to have a single sheet of paper with the five most important points. Yeah, 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 but TJ, yeah, that's not the way it's done here. Guess what? People will thank you. I understand the way it's done in your organization is people stand up, turn their back to their colleagues and start reading bullet points and everyone's asleep or everyone's checking their email. I understand that's how it's done now, but it doesn't have to be done that way. You can actually do it better than you're used to doing it. Trust me, no one is going to criticize you. Now, you still have to be able to answer questions. You still need a PowerPoint deck. I'm not telling you just get in there and wing it. Prepare your deck, prepare all the data, email it to people in advance, have it as a handout. So you're still providing substance, but you're gonna provide substance in a way that's more digestible for people and easier for people. I do this in my own practice. When I'm asked to give a keynote speech or an eight hour day of presentation training or media training, I have a whole massive amount of content for people, but I don't get up there and go through a whole bunch of slides, bullet point after bullet point. I email all of my trainees, all of my audience members, not one, but a couple of books, depending on the subject. If they want to read it, they do. If they don't want to read it, they don't. If they have questions about something I haven't specifically addressed, I answer their questions. Guess what? No one has ever accused me of lacking substance. No one has ever accused me of not being prepared. So if you have some big, long, tedious PowerPoint presentation, you've been working on it for weeks, maybe months, and you're just dreading giving it, listen to these urges. Listen to your instincts. If you're dreading giving this, your audience is probably going to dread having to watch you and to listen to it. Instead, use each medium for maximum effectiveness. You've got all the slides, you got all the data points, email it, hand it out, be ready to take questions. But when it's your turn to stand up and speak, speak from a single sheet of paper, a handful of points. Do that and it's going to be the best PowerPoint presentation you ever gave, it's going to be the best one your audience ever listened to. I'm TJ Walker for more tips on how to, to give effective PowerPoint presentations or any other presentation. Please go to my Facebook page, TJ Walker Interactive. Hit like. Also, go to our main website, mediatrainingworldwide.com, for information on upcoming public speaking training workshops and online courses.